Hello, my name is Carolina Menden. I was born in Tegucigalpa, Honduras, educated in an American school, singing both the Honduran and American anthems, and always with both countries' flags displayed, I learned to love both. In 1984, I met my husband Walt in Honduras, and six months later, I was married and on my way to Fayetteville, North Carolina. I left family and country behind and became a military wife. I lived there for 16 years, and my two sons, Joseph and John, were born and raised in Fayetteville until they were nine and 10 when we moved to Southport in August of 2000. I have been living in North Carolina for 36 years, which is more years than I lived in Honduras. Thanks to the military, I was able to acquire a green card, which made me a legal resident alien in less time than it takes civilians. Otherwise, the process can take years. Growing up in Honduras, voting for a president was not an option. I was living in the United States when democracy was established in Honduras, so I was not able to vote. As a resident alien, I was not allowed to vote here either, and I wanted badly to exercise that privilege, so I started the process to become a United States citizen. Again, thanks to the military, it was expedited, for which I was thankful, because it was important to me to be a U.S. citizen before my son was born. I was sworn June 23, 1988, my son was born July 12, and being an election year, I got to vote for the first time. My Honduran roots hold a special place in my heart, but the United States is my country, and I uphold my oath to support and defend the Constitution and laws against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance. I take this obligation freely and without mental reservation or purpose of evasion, so help me God. Those are words I repeated during my naturalization ceremony. It was a day I will never forget.